I'm the energetic meteor robot. She's got so many customizable expressions. Uh, is this thing broken? In today's video, we are gonna be reviewing Meter, the hip hop dancing AI robot. But the real question is, can it beat me at dancing? I mean, I don't think so, but we're gonna find out. All right, let's finally open up Meter. Uh, oh wow, he is a lot bigger than I thought he'd be. Are there any cords underneath him or? Oh, they're in the back of his head. Looks like the booklet's back here. All right, so super simple unboxing. You've got Meter the Robot, you've got the cord that he comes with, and then you've got a really short user manual, which I really like. We like you. The weight of Meter feels pretty good. It feels like a really solid built robot. Now to quickly take you around the robot itself, you've got a touch sensor right up here. You've got the left button right here. You've got the right button over here on the other side of the headphones. Apparently his sunglasses are magnetic. Oh my God, his eyes are terrifying. All right, we're gonna put those back on. You've also got a hat that apparently you can remove if you want to. Oh, oh my dude is so bald under here. Whew. In the back, you've got a microphone that's gonna be behind the hat. You've got his reset hole, which I really appreciate. Oops, I knocked his sunglasses off. Ah! <laughs> so back here, you're also gonna have his LED status light. This is also where his speakers are. They're in the back of his headphones. This big button down here is the power button. And then down here in his backpack is his Type-C USB charging port. I love his little straps. <laughs> I love his entire outfit. It kind of makes me think that he's going through some sort of like Limp Biscuit phase. Keep on rolling, baby. But with that aside, now that we've made our way around the robot, let's turn this guy on. Before we do that though, I'm gonna need to download the app really fast. The setup for Meter is super simple. You just download the app, open it up, tap on Wi-Fi network configuration, and it'll search for your Meter robot. Then tap connect, and you'll enter your Wi-Fi password and the robot's serial number. Sweet, okay, now he is connected to my Wi-Fi and now we're ready to test him out. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the different modes that he has before we get into talking with him and all that. Oh, all right, hold on for a second. All right, so you're gonna press his power button once in the back and now you're gonna be able to cycle through the modes on either one of the buttons right here. So that's his settings, that is choreography master, that is voice changer, that's just dance. That is Bluetooth mode. And now we're back to voice chat, which is his default mode. Now that I've taken you through all the different modes that he has, let's test each one out. Now the first one is gonna be voice chat, which is what most people are gonna be getting him for. You just tap on his head right here and then ask him a question. Present. What are your functions? Hey, I'm the tier, a super cool dancing robot. <laughs> Look at my stylish appearance. Isn't it particularly eye-catching? It is particularly eye-catching. <laughs> I can interact with you by voice, listen to your voice, and respond to your every word. When the music starts, I can play moving melodies for you to immerse you. Not only that, I can also show unlimited possibilities through programming, and you can give me more unique performances. Obviously, the first thing that I want to test out is his dancing. So we're going to prompt him, and then we're going to say... I'm here. Yeah. Dance for me. Oh no! Oh no, Meter, are you okay? He's still dancing even though he jumped off. He doesn't know where the edge of things are. That's good to know. Okay. Let's try to make Meter move. Go ahead. That should move him forward. There we go. All right, cool, that worked. Backward. No problem. <laughs> nice. So far, so good. Right. All righty. <laughs> One of the hardest things for these robots is for them to separate chat GPT from like their internal programming because sometimes you'll ask them to do something and they'll just go straight into chat GPT mode or the other way around. It seems like Meter is pretty good so far at deciphering. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Deciphering chat GPT from his actual internal programming. Let's keep going. Let's test out his integration with chat GPT a little bit because I'm curious if you ask him some questions, how right he'll get them. 
Who do you think is the most powerful wizard in the wizarding world? Fans consider Albus Dumbledore to be the most powerful wizard. He is known for his immense magical abilities, wisdom, and leadership as the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So at least now you know you can argue with him if you want to be a nerd. Which I do. Who would you say is the most powerful mutant in X-Men? The title of the most powerful mutant in the X-Men universe is often attributed to Jean Grey. The Phoenix Force amplifies her telepathic and telekinetic abilities to godlike levels. Debatable, but that was a pretty good answer. What is 73 times 9? 73 times 9 is 657. Basically like having a really expressive chat GPT on your desk, but that can also dance really well. Or at least semi-well, we're gonna have a dance off here in a second, but let's keep going. All right, now that we know voice chat works, let's move on to another function. Let's try out his Just Dance feature. To cycle through these, you'll press the power button in the back once, and then you can cycle through on his headphones. So let's go to Just Dance. And then we'll touch the top of his head to enter that. And then we're gonna select a dance style, which will also be done with his headphones. So we've got normal style and real-time beat style. I guess I'll go with real-time beat style. I, I don't know, that sounds cool. And then you touch his head. All right, so this must be the real-time beat style. Now, if it's too loud for you, you can adjust the volume by pressing his head. This will turn it down or you can turn it up. Like this. I'm gonna turn it a little bit down because that's pretty loud. So now you can switch to a random song by touching the top of his head. Let's switch to another one. Okay, so these are all real-time beat style. I'm not really sure what that means. If you know, let me know down in the comments. But this is real-time beat style. Let's do one more change. All right, and then to stop him, I'm just gonna press the power button once really fast. And now he's back into selecting which function you want him in. So I guess he has a ton of songs built in. I'm not exactly sure how many, but obviously he's got a lot. Uh, next function we're gonna use is voice changer. One bar means he's gonna have a sharp tone, middle is normal, and then third is deep. I really wanna hear a deep voice and it's not gonna be actually his voice. What it's gonna be is it's going to record whatever I say and then he's gonna repeat it. So let's see what my voice sounds like deep through meter. So we'll choose that one. Look at me, I'm a little robot, and I got a really deep voice. Look at me, I'm a little robot, and I got a really deep voice. Amazing. Okay, I want to hear what sharp sounds like, so we'll choose that. Look at me, I am a little robot with a really sharp voice. Look at me, I am a little robot with a really sharp voice. And then normal, I'm guessing, is just going to be his regular voice saying whatever you want him to say. That's a pretty cool function. Moving on. Next up, we're going to do choreography master. Oh, hey, it's me, Eric. You're watching my video right now. And I decided to interrupt because I could not figure out how to get Choreography Master to work. I tried everything and it would not work. So if you got it to work, let me know down in the comments. I have no idea. Let's just move on to the next function. <laughs> Really quick though, before I leave the choreography section, I did wanna mention that while going through this function, although I didn't get it to work, it did end up showing me everything this robot is capable of showing on its screen, which was a ton as you can see. But I couldn't get the actual function to work, so let's move on. Here, another really important function is going to be the settings. This is where you can really customize your robot. This is gonna be your sub menu within settings. So basically you've got your ambient light color that you can control, your volume, your Wi-Fi connection. You can tell what your robot's current battery level is at. Here is the current version that he's on. And then lastly, you can do OTA updates. Now there is another feature that Meter has, which is Bluetooth connection. I'm actually recording on my phone right now, so I can't use that. And my GoPro is kind of out of commission right now, but I will say it did work really, really well. It almost connected instantly. Basically Meter connects to my phone and my phone plays music through him. He dances to the music. The speakers on him are pretty good. It sounds awesome. But with all that being said, he is a robot that is supposedly supposed to dance and be the best at it, right? Well, let's go test that out right now. Wait, where's Meter? So, crazy turn of events. Oh no! 
I'm pretty sure I broke meter whenever he dropped during that dance. He started to kind of mess up after that and now he doesn't turn on at all, no matter what I do. And I even tried to reset him in the back. So I'm gonna probably open him up after this and see if some sort of wire got loose. But this was definitely my fault because I dropped him off the top of the shelf. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the pros and the cons that I found with this robot while he was still living and still dancing. All right, let's kick this off with the pros because I wanna get back to some state of positive. So pro number one, meter has a dedicated on and off button. That sounds pretty simple for most tech, like most tech should have that. But if you look at most of the robots that I've got up on this shelf, there's even more that isn't showing up here, but none of them have on and off buttons or at least not on and off buttons that are easy to use. Meter, I think integrated an on and off button, big on the back, and it does other functions within the robot. It's there for if you just wanna turn them off or you just wanna turn them on really fast. Pro number two is his design, and that's outside and inside. I think the outside looks really unique compared to a lot of the other robots that I've done on this channel. I also think that it's internal design components of all of the different designs that come up on his little LED eyes, as well as how he overall functions inside of him design wise, I think it's all really good. Speaking of the inside of this robot, the overall chat with this robot is really, really good. And the prompting times between when I ask it a question and when Meter responds is also a lot faster than most robots. Now, most of you know this, but I usually edit my videos so that they're more watchable for you guys. But I edit down the blank space in between when I ask the robot a question and when the robot responds to me. I didn't have to do that this much with Meter. Meter responds most of the time within about two seconds, which is is really good. Again, a lot of my other robots take at least three to four to five, some even seven seconds just to answer me after prompting him. So good job, Meter. Last pro I wanted to mention was that overall his speakers and his Bluetooth, all of that lobbed into one is really, really great. Bluetooth connected almost instantly. I love that I can play my music on him, even though I couldn't show that in this video because a lot of the music that I wanted to play on him from my phone is all copyrighted and I didn't want to get a strike. But rest assured, it does connect really well and his speakers sound really great. I know you probably couldn't tell through the video, but again, compared to a lot of desktop robot companions, Meter's speakers seem like they're built really well. Having said that, Meter does have some cons, besides the fact that I accidentally broke him. That's more user error though. Well, I'm an idiot. Con number one. His glasses and overall magnets on the sides of the glasses kept falling off. His glasses stayed on when he was dancing, but when I would adjust his hat or I would move him a little bit with my own hand, his glasses would usually fall off and one of the neodymium, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, magnets would fall off even when I just took his glasses off, one of them popped out. I think this could probably be solved if you just put some super glue in there, but I feel like this is something the company could probably do for us before shipping it out. Con number two is that when he's dancing, I think his servos or his motors are a little too loud. This became especially apparent when I connected Bluetooth wise to my phone, started playing music through it. I was listening to a band called Dayseeker, which if you haven't checked them out, awesome band, love them. My wife and I go and see them all the time. But while playing Dayseeker through here, I could barely hear the music without turning it way up because his servos were just so loud. So that's definitely something I'd like to see fixed in the future. Now my last con on the list has to do with why he even broke in the first place, which is he doesn't really have object avoidance or cliff avoidance. So he didn't know that the edge of the shelf was right here. Now I have heard that robots do better on certain colored surfaces. I did test it on a black pad and he still fell off. So I think he just doesn't have the cliff avoidance. So it's something that you're gonna wanna watch out for, especially if you're putting him on a shelf like I am. If he's on the ground though, this is never gonna cause you any issues. Now, ultimately with the pros and cons out of the way, it is really up to you whether or not this is the right AI companion slash robot for your home. To me, I love chatting with him when I hadn't broken them yet, but there's still a lot of pros and cons to weigh. So if you want to pick up your own meter, test them out for yourself, I will leave a link down in the description below for you to go do that. With that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode. I'm sorry that my videos have been a little bit sparse lately. I've been dealing with a lot of different things in my life and I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna probably be doing YouTube full time, which is very exciting for me and should be exciting for you guys because I'm gonna be putting out way more videos, probably two full length ones per week, plus a lot of YouTube shorts with just expanded information on a lot of the tech that I do on this channel. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. That really, really helps 
helps me out. And share this video with your friends if they think that they're gonna be interested in it. And also, if you own Meter yourself, let me know down in the comments what your experience with them has been. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World. I'm gonna throw a video right up here that YouTube algorithm is telling you that you're probably gonna enjoy. So go and check that out next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.